ma'am. Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Hello, and welcome to Freddy Fish 4. Uh, I forgot the subtitle. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we are in Go, but it's a... Um, not the subtitle. Yeah, is it the subtitle it's called? The, the title is Freddy Fish 4 and then there's an extra... Yeah, I forgot the rest. Anyway, we are going to ranch, apparently. Visit Freddy's cousin. The Don's ranch or something. Uh, let's see, let's click around. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Surfing board. Money! Another surfing board. Okay. Smoking leaf. Oh. Okay. Okay, um Okay, an Egyptian Egypt blood crap. Gosh, Luther. I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad too. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Not right now. This is turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. It's not pretty exciting because I'm just clicking on... Oh, they are on vacation. What is this? Okay. Is that a cow? Or something? Oh, it's a pig! Stupid, sorry. I thought it was a cow. <laughs> I thought it was a cow. It's apparently a pig. Okay, let's just swim away. There's Cousin Calico's ranch! I'm raring to go! Seems worried. Oh, hats! You have got eight arms, which is strange to see When you just have fins, like my friends and me All those suction cups are a not a tea But you've got eyes on the side of your head Just like me Okay, I didn't expect country music, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I expected something like that. I didn't expect any oh, stones. Well, let's see and talk to you. Hello. Are you okay? Hi, Seem cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! 
Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. If I know, if I know Freddy Fish, I think it's the sharks. The sharks have done it. Again. It's probably the octopus that wanted something. Oh, boy. Oh! Did you see the wrestlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Let's rescue those hogfish soon. My stomach is growling. You don't tell me you're gonna eat. You wanna eat the hogfish? Oh, gee, Luther, you're about the best friend a fish could have. Ah, thanks. Okay. Oh, look, Freddy, a purple sea urchin. We're rich! Oh, I guess these are... Uh, yeah, I guess they are currency in this game. In some games, they're not currency. Oh. Okay. I was about to see that looked nice, but then he broke its back, and then I'm confused. Come on. Oh. Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Yeah, we could ask him. Mm, might ask him first. The Customers. blacksmith? <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! Okay. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. You sure? So, all you sell here is belt buckles? Nothing else? That's why it's called Just Buckles. I also make custom belt buckles with initials on them. Do you work out a lot? Why, um, no. Making buckles is hard work, so I don't really need to work out. <laughs> you sure you have a... do you have... What's that big thing? I thought you only made buckles. Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. You said you didn't work out, but you have uh, exercise equipment. Strange. Maybe sometime we could have a custom belt buckle made. Sure, but right now we've got to do something about those rustlers. Oh, it's a baby picture. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Hmm. Oh, nice. Have you seen my son's baby picture? Yes, he looks a lot like you. Except smaller. Are you sure you don't know anything about any rustlers? Maybe you've just noticed someone acting suspicious lately? No, no, I'm sure I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. I don't trust him. He said he didn't exercise and then he has... ...that thing. Well, we get, I will keep a pin on this guy. Then we like to see people. Are they dancing or are they, are they sitting in rocking chairs? Rocking chairs. Is that the name? Okay. Hello. 
Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm Perry. Okay. Er, uh, Perry Winkle. Okay. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. I guess now, you? <gasps> Miss Stella sure is pretty, don't you think? <gasps> yup! Okay, maybe your grandma. Are you sure you don't know anything about the rustlers? Now, it seems to me that there used to be a club which had meetings in the saloon from time to time. Might check there. Oh, thank you. Finally something helpful. Let's go into the saloon. Hello. Do you have root bear? Or... Ginger ale? Soda? Anything? Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loo. What can I do for you? Oh, so we wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boy! Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. What can I do for you kids? One sweet potato soda, please. What? Coming S right up. Sweet potato soda? What truth? Oh. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. Could I have another one? One peppermint soda, please. That sounds much one better. One soda on the house. Uh-oh. We could help you clean up later if you like. Don't worry about it. One prickly pear soda, please. You bet. Can Ready? Here it comes. No. Oh. Oh. Oof. I did it. I got a prickle stuck in my tongue. I like the prickly pear flavor. Hmm. <laughs> what other taste do you have? What other? One bologna soda, please. Bolo bologna? One soda on the house. Take it, take it, take it. Oh. <gasps> Thank God. Ouch! Bologna soda. It doesn't sound very nice. Mm. Okay, it was good. What bologna, she said. I'm sorry, but I'm very distracted. I just want to check every taste, every One flavor. Soda, please. What soda? You bet. What soda? Cat Freddy Tay Catch the soda Okay, it was very Okay, it was very sour One cinnamon soda, please 
can't How remember. many flavors does this woman have? And then eat this note. Nine, six, eight. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Yes. Maybe I should talk to... Okay. Hi, I'm Freddy. And this is my pal, Luther. Well, hello. Eight fingered Phil, Doctor of Piano Ology, at your service. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks, anyway. Oh, mm, what is this? Oh. Oh, it's a shark. Fish. The good. Okay. The bad. The bad. Who's the ugly? Where's the ugly? The heavy! Oh! <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be ugly. Just had to turn down the sound. Oh! What the heck? <laughs> run, Krabby! Run! Oh no. Oh, don't mess with the crab because the big crab gonna take you. See horse. Does fish ride seahorses? <laughs> ah, that was perfect. Bank. He's gonna rob the bank and then play poker. And chase a lady? And beat the dude? And oh, he's the sheriff! Ouch! Oh, rode rodeo! Yeah, her rodeos are not as animal friendly, I assume. So that's good for the cow or the bull. Good for bullfish. What is this? Oh, 
The wind blew out down the whole ha the building. Apple juice? for Finn Eastwood. <laughs> you feel guppy? Well, do ya? Oh, clam. Okay, we are okay. We have seen all the moves. Okay, I'm just wasting time. I'm sorry. Is this just now? Bye bye. Oh, suspicious yeah. dude. Hi, it's me. Listen, I want to talk to you about that note. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Okay, Nine, where is the... Six, where eight. are we going? Yep. Maybe that's the... Oh, close due to construction. Back shortly. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Well, we can't go there then. Oh! Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. Is that the combination? It won't open! It's locked! Wait a minute! Didn't I see a combination written somewhere? Hmm... Yeah, what was the combination? Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Nine, six, eight. Nine, six, eight, this okay. It shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Stop talking. One. Zero. Nine. Nine. Nine, eight. Seven. Six, eight. There we go. We did it! Oh. It's open! The door fell off. Boy, I'll the door fell off. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnett, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. 
you can see from this picture in Russellmania magazine. Hmm, a purple 10-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with a K on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. It's the stupidest okay. rustler Thank in you. the world. It's the stupidest thief I ever this seen. This is a rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. New clothes? You're naked. Any clothes. Okay, we need to get some... Oh, poor piggies. All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Who's Mr. Big? Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. Okay. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I'd do the job for free if you brought me the materials. Thank you, Nelson. That's very generous. Don't mention it. So, all we need to make a belt buckle is that piece of metal with a round top and some kind of letter, right? That's correct. Can you tell me again what pieces you need to make a belt buckle? Sure! I just need a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and whatever letter you want on the front. Okay. Where the heck do I get that? Okay, maybe I can go up there now. Yeah, I can go! I guess whoever was working here is done now. Yes, it's faster than... Oh! That's screwdriver. a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. Okay, they would. Nice mugs. Oh, hello. My name's Freddy Fish, and Who this you? is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you oh, play no. an instrument? Harmonica. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica, the apple of my. I traded away my monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't now. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's Sahara Slim Special Super Stew. My own recipe. <sighs> oh. Not quite ready. Okay. 
Okay, we need to find your harmonica. Harmonica, harmonica. To play you was to kiss you. But now all I have is this old bow tie. Harmonica, how I miss you. Why did you trade away your harmonica if you liked it so much? Well, I really wanted a bow tie back then. Now I trade back in a second. Okay, I hope the harmonica helps the singing. If not, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think I will move on, go this way and see what's going on. Oh! Mailman? Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away, I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no, it's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Excuse me, I couldn't help noticing that your mailbox door is a little bit broken. Don't I know it. It's very hard to hermit properly with a door that won't close all the way. Do you think we could have it? No, at least not before the mail comes. Are you E. Tippet? That's what it says on the mailbox, doesn't it? Now leave me be. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no! It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Mailbox door sure might come in handy. Well, you can't have it. Not until the mail comes, anyway. Is that the mailman there on the horizon? I don't see anything. Oh. Okay, let's move on. Maybe you find the mailbox. Oh. oh, I see something. It's an old shoe. Oh boy! See another purple sea urchin! It's a bone. It's just a pile of junk. It's an anchor. It's an old tire. It's a squid. Hello. Oh no, we're dead. I think we can get past that shark. I don't think so either. I think we should move on. Oh, wrong way. Maybe we should go this way. That's the mailman. Oh no. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you, like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, Yo, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. It's addressed to E. Tippet. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? Little over two years. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time, pretty good time. We could deliver your package for you, if you like. Oh, no, that's against the rules. I have to deliver it myself. Do you just have that one delivery to make? Yep. After this one, it should be time for me to retire. 
Would it help if we gave you a push? No, I don't think so. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. Yeah. Uh. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Isn't there any way you could go faster? If my wagon worked, I could. Sometimes if I think speedy thoughts, it helps. Right now I'm imagining I'm a train. Hmm. Okay, I need a nut. To get the mail. Try this way. Free wood. This should be useful. Seven by seven. How did you do that? I was that about to ask. Him. Hey Luther, what's oh. round and purple and pokey? It, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Okay, I can give the woods to the, um... Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, hi, kids. Hello. Hey, Slim, back when you had a harmonica, what were all your blues songs about? I used to mostly sing about not having a bow tie. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, hey, I have a plank thing for you. That's not gonna do me any good. It's a shame it's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Well, someone left a coffee stain on the plants. Yeah, yeah. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you need just to help you, guy. Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Yeah, construction workers love coffee break. Can I have the now screwdriver? Now your floor is finished. Do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Ooh, yay. What's inside there? Oh, his nut. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. Those are fickle fit locking wheel nuts, the finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. 
Fickle Fit Nuts are all currently available at one low price. Just three purple sea urchins per nut. Fickle Fit Wheel Nuts are built with a patented circular gap designed to fit right over your axle. In addition, the outer surfaces are molded to the exact specification of a variety of wheel manufacturers. You just can't buy a better wheel nut. Just three purple sea urchins per nut, today only. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Can you please stop talking? I have Here's all the sea urchins for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Buy Which of nut. my two fine products are you interested in today? Nuts. The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple. Here's the Stop last talking. purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can Stop. we have it now? Yeah. Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. This one looks good. I take that one. I think that one would you. Will. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. Mm. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up Pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Yeah, you owe people money. That's what, what? Good evening, sir. May I interest you in? You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? Well, all I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> okay. Oh. Oh, hat. boy. A real 10-gallon hat. Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked. On a hat? Okay, Excuse dude. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah! I'll tell you what, this county would owe you a great service if you did. You know what? I'm gonna fix the nut so the dude can get um get this mail. Oh, wrong place.
to the wagon. I have a nut. We did it. It's fixed. And it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoofs him something awful. What's he got against glue? He's made of... They make glue of horse. You... Oh, no! yeah! Yeah! Oh, they make glue out of horses. That's why I... Oh! Okay. My package. At last. in the door. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Oh. How does it go with the mailman? Thank you. What about the mailman? Is he okay? Okay, I need a letter. Let's see what's up here. Okay. Okay, wheel. I want... I think there's a handle missing from this crank. I don't think I need that right now. What kind of fish would take somebody else's hogfish anyway? I don't know, Luther. Okay, I need a handle. Oh! I thought he farted, but it was just his back fin. His f tail fin. Spinning around. Okay, we need a handle. We should go up here and check. Oh, hi. Wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't. Why is that? I think I'm stuck. Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it. Reflex. Reflex? Happens whatever anybody gets near me. Okay. Do you think you can move out of the hole while you're still small? Move? No way. Too scared. Why are you scared? You say you can't help holding your breath whenever anyone comes near? That's right! I wish there was some way we could stop you from holding your breath. You and me both? This isn't comfortable. But how do I do that? Can't you just move? Huh? Why are you so scared of moving? Wow, that's amazing! You should see my brother! Okay, I can't move. I don't think I need that right now.
I'd say it was in here. Oh! Oh, they had we a... made it! I knew we could do it! Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! It's a crank handle. Didn't we see something a while ago that needed a handle? What was it? I can't remember. Well, we'll take it with us. Yeah, it's at the boat. But I want to check uh, the other cave first, or the other area, before we go back. I will see... I want to see where we are going. I want to go here first. Oh! I can't go there. Well, okay, then we have to go back to... another sea urchin I can buy gum and maybe give that to the dude no oh, wrong place play this game as quick as possible because I want one game per episode of this series there it fits perfectly now we've got a handle on that sail <laughs> yeah. move the handle <sighs> here let me help <sighs> You are spinning. It's not, Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. Hey, let's go and see what's happening. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! Look at that! Another sea oh, urchin. boy! I see another purple sea urchin! What is that? It's Cayenne. Cayenne? Um, Cayenne is kind of hot. Okay, that's... Maybe a little too hot for him. It feels like my tongue's on fire! Is it? No, it looks okay. Whew. What is this? Ten? Pepper? It's pepper. Really? If he starts sneezes, yes, he's not sneezing. Wow! I guess the yellow one is mustard. It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? I guess not. It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it, though. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Ah, we got an M. 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 Don't we need the M? I think we need the M. I really only need 
one letter. Turn him. Chocolate. I want to try to give him a sneeze. didn't last him very long. Maybe it's hot. Maybe the hot. Maybe the hot spice. Maybe it's chili. A little cayenne and whatever you called it. What do you think of spices? Sure didn't last him very long. Maybe he likes me don't tell me he failed for sour stuff. That sure didn't last him very long. Swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. Whoa! Boy, that was fast. I don't think that was enough time for us to swim past. No, I don't think so. That's not gonna do me any good. Swim! Look out! That rubber tire seems to take him a little longer to chew. But I still don't think that was quite enough time for us to get by. No, not if you s just stand there staring at him chewing. I can't believe how quickly he's eating this stuff. Don't 
tell me a bones. I don't think I've ever seen anyone eat so fast. It's a screwdriver. That's not gonna do me any good. Whoa! I can't believe how quickly he's eating this stuff. I know what to do. I know what to do. I have to buy... I can give him gum. I can buy gum at the gum store, dude. I can buy gum. I also have an idea for the uh, blubber fish. Maybe give him pepper so he sneezes away and sneeze. I'm gonna give him gum for you because then he needs. We'll take. Because there, of, I can't speak. Of pepper. I'm gonna give him gum so it would take him forever to chew. That was my plan. <laughs> We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. Mm. Nice. Funds. I know we can do this.
go. To gum. Throw the gum. to keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah. Actually, he looks very happy. Maybe that's the thing. It's a chewing addiction. Oh, stars. I like this gold starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. Okay, we can go to the sheriff, but I need to figure out how to... Hmm. We have some progress. We're gonna play this game and then the fifth and last game in this uh, game franchise. That's the plan so far. I'm trying to finish off my series before starting new ones, which I think is a good idea. Hello, dude. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found. Sheriff Shrimp is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there, that's a loading zone. Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! Oh boy, a 10-gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. Oh! Okay, cookie, I want the cookies. All right, you hogfish, pay attention. <sighs> One, two, three. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep head to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Apparently not. Please. Apparently not. Apparently they are um, gonna uh, Please onk. just go to sleep. Please. I guess it's up here. Here, try some pepper. Okay. Yeah. I oh. haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's perfect. It's okay. I'll be the K. Only need Melt. one letter. Melta. Melt mine. <laughs> Melt mine. Oh my. Hey. <laughs> harmonica. Uh, harmonica. 
Ay, 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 stop it. Is Let's... it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm. This is harder than it looks. Hmm, is he think help? Melt mine. Bye bye. <laughs> ah, I can give the dude. We are progressing. It's gonna be my longest video, I guess. But this is a game. Takes the time, and I, I will play this game in one video. Nothing multiple. I'm stubborn like that. Hey. Hi. Have you harmonica? Here. Would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh boy! Oh, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. I can't believe how well tuned this is. I guess we have to is. listen to this thing. That was very nice. At least he's not singing. Which is a good thing. Anyway, let's go. Uh, we almost have every... Oh. Toby, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. Hey. Let's go back and... We here. have here. Can you make us a belt buckle out of this? <gasps> sure. Just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Yeah, here's the key. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> Almost done with the game, I think. Okay, stand back. Ooh. Well, what's this gonna do? Yikes! Yeah, hide behind Freddy. That's a good thing. I would done the same if it was a little fish. My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you just glued you. on it? Yeah, thank is you! Is that how you Marshall? make it? You just Please, put glue? Call me Nelson! That's part of my disguise. I. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Yeah. 
Okay, I think it painted one. There, that's much better. No, I need I need purple paint the paint. Stop it. Could you give me some purple paint? Thank you. How come you spit so much? Well, concern it. It's the ink. It comes up like a barrel of old pickle droppings. I'm glad I'm not the octopus then. Come on, put the right color. Even though I like blue hats, we need a purple one. Oh, this push. purple is much better. Yes. I think these wrestler outfits look nice. We've got all of those things. Yes. Now we can go and take the pig pug pig. Ah, oh, piggy. Oh, wrong place, wrong place, wrong place. What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! And a bow tie? Wow, that's kind of scary. I'd almost believe you were a wrestler. Good, that's what we want. There, this ought to fool them. Now, let's rescue those hogfish. Yeah. yeah. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Ah, good idea. Good thinking, Luther. <laughs> Let's try to get past the guard. Ah, uh, that's why it was a hole in the hat. Hold I thought it. This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. I thought the hole was, I uh, need to fix the hole, but apparently not. We did it! Shh. I was wondering how. We did it. We're inside. Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well... I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! No! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! <laughs> What do we do now? Uh, I don't know. But, but I thought it the hat... didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. I thought we had to fix the hat, but I, I also was wondering how Luther was going to get through, but... Hey, it looks game... like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew! These are heavy! There! That does it. Yeah! Go down! Oh, hello, Piggy! Hey, look! Here they are! These are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. That big barbell looks familiar. Yes, it does. What do you think that's doing here? A big barbell? We're supposed to get to work out with it. 
but it's too crowded in here to use it. That's too bad. Yeah, but we don't really want to work out anyway. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. Maybe we can find a way to yank those bars out. Why is the anchor on this chain? So the anchor stays attached to the boat when you drop it. This is a nice, dirty chain. I wonder what this does. Be careful, Luther. This is fun. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. Probably. That's why I clicked on it. Yes. Do you think you could pull up the anchor with the chain? No, I think you'd get pulled right off the boat. The anchor's awfully heavy. Oh. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. A hook. Look at this neat hook. Oh, Do you don't... think maybe it belonged to a pirate? No, I stopped I wearing know. it. But I bet it will come in handy. Could you stop Here, waving it? Why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Hang on to the hook. That's not going to do me any good. There, that hooks on pretty well. Mm. How did you hook it? I'm not sure, but okay. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Yeah. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! The pigs of Stunshun 3. Come on! Oh! There you go! Free the piggy! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Mori? <laughs> I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real oh. slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Yes. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. Yeah, I'll be taking them it. off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. 
When the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? I suspect Mr. Fingers. Whoa, no way, baby. I don't know wrestling, just piano playing. After we found the note to the wrestlers saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B-flat, but really, it's an A-flat. Big difference. Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working on something that wasn't a belt buckle. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. It was a barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, yes, I see. Matter of fact, it was. I thought it would be good for the hotfish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very important. Are you saying I'm fat? Oh, no, no. I just, um... So that means Nelson Torso is Mr. Big? <gasps> <gasps> That's right. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm afraid I am. Just Buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see. Since folks don't need very many buckles around here, I thought I might have better luck as a hawkfish rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just right. shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people. And What's it's going just on with the sound? Wrong. Yes, yes. We're Us. sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. Looks like that pig like him. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hat! Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Hmm. Yeah, that's the game. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo no. roam, where the deer I knew there was singing involved somewhere. Oh, Stewball was a racehorse, wish she was mine. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. You get a line, I get a pole, we all go down the crawdad hole, darling. Sugar pop pop, sugar pop pop pop. Oh, thank goodness they had. Okay, thank goodness they will finish singing. I was wondering why they were not singing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you liked this uh, episode and hopefully I see you in the next one. Bye bye.